We have just concluded our tour at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, and may I say it was a breathtaking experience. I agree, Greg. I focused the most on this one painting that I know caught your eye as well. Yes, Triumph of the Winter Queen, Allegory of the Just by Gerard von Honthorst. It was painted in 1636, commissioned by the Winter Queen herself. What I love most about this painting is the allegorical style. One would think it would be Dutch Baroque because of where it was painted and since it was painted by a Dutch Golden Age painter. The use of intense shadows and natural light isn't as apparent, but you can see how some family members appear to be posing and others appear to be moving. The movement would be apparent for, of the Baroque style, and as religion is not the focus of the scene, it would be more similar to Dutch Baroque. Yes, the Winter King and Queen derived their name over their short rule over Bohemia. Frederick V, Elector of the Palatinate, claimed the throne of Bohemia as a Protestant ruler within the Holy Roman Empire. Emperor Ferdinand II, along with other Catholic rulers, challenged his rule at the start of the Thirty Years' War, and with the Protestant loss at the Battle of White Mountain, Frederick and Elizabeth fled to the Dutch court in the Hague, along with their thirteen children. In the painting, there are a few different elements that the artist put into it that really just make you go, wow. There is some movement among the family members which you wouldn't normally see in a usual family portrait, like how the daughter is flying over to her mother to bestow a wreath to her, the carriage is being pulled by three lines while her sons follow on horseback, and you can tell they're in the process of moving by how the horse's foot is extended. There's also light coming down into the left, which has their shadows cast towards the right. But what makes this unlike Baroque is how what would be a normal family portrait contains members of the family who were deceased at the time of the painting. Along with the use of lions pulling the Winter Queen's carriage is more symbolic than practical, and how a daughter of the family is flying in the background is entirely the artist expressing his creative license. However, it also contains an unbalanced feel to the painting, with most of the family at the right side. There is no pyramid structure, while at the same time there is a lack of strong diagonals common in the Baroque style. There is also deep, rich colors found within their clothing. Having them stand in front of what looks like some sort of gray stone wall really contrasted very well with their clothes. In the top left, you can see the deceased members of the family. Frederick and the eldest son stand at the front of a window above clouds wearing white robes and wearing green wreaths on their heads. They both hold a martyr's palm leaf, which generally represents victory, triumph, and peace. Behind them are two more of Elizabeth's deceased sons atop a cloud. What is really striking about the painting is how Elizabeth rides over who appears to be the sea god Neptune with her carriage, crushing him while her wheels stab him as she rides over. Now this would seem out of place at first glance, but this really alludes to the drowning of her eldest son in 1629, pictured next to Frederick. Behind her rides her three sons on horseback, who are riding over figures of death and envy, two of them dressed as soldiers and one adorned in ermine pelts. The centerpiece of this painting is Elizabeth poised upon her golden chariot, golden scepter in hand, pulled by three magnificent lions. All of this imagery shows the strength of Elizabeth and her remaining family and their tent to take back what was taken from them, starting with the revenge for her drowned son. The artist himself, Gerard von Honthorst, was born in Utrecht in 1592 to a large Catholic family. His father, Hermann von Honthorst, was a tapestry designer and a founding member of the Utrecht Guild of St. Luke in 1611. After training with the Utrecht painter Abraham Blomart, Hanthorst traveled to Rome, where he is first documented in 1616. Hanthorst's trip to Rome had an impact on his painting style. Hanthorst was influenced by Caravaggio and adopted the Italian painter's realism, dramatic, chiaroscuro lighting, bold colors, and cropped compositions. I personally love the allegorical pieces of this painting, from the crushing of Neptune representing her drowned son to the trampling of figures of death and envy, showing the drive of her sons to overcome their struggles and reclaim their lost land. It really helps create an emotional appeal along with the deceased members of the family, looking over and almost watching and protecting them as they continue on. To me, that's what really makes this painting stand out from any other family portrait. I personally feel like Elizabeth chose the right painter to embody the power and struggle her family has had to go through. Having her husband and two deceased children in the back of the portrait shows her unchanging devotion to them and that they are still a part of the family, even though they are no longer alive. The symbolic family element is what really does it for me.